Well, since the war time, since the siege of Sarajevo, I've learned that magic can happen. Uh, so since now, I think that Bosnian people in general are fighting impossible things. We are trying to keep hope and to keep love and to keep optimism in impossible circumstances. Aida Bergic is one of Bosnia's top filmmakers and screenwriters. She was born in Sarajevo in 1976 and grew up during the wars in the former Yugoslavia. She said studying art at the time saved her life because it allowed her to escape the war, if not physically, then spiritually. But the Bosnian conflict still haunts Bergic's work. She feels the issues of the war remain unresolved and its legacy, especially from a Muslim woman's viewpoint, are a constant theme in her movies. Bergic's graduation film, First Death Experience, was shown at the 2001 Cannes Film Festival. Four years later, her debut film, Snow, won the International Critics Week Grand Prix at Cannes. Her second full-length film, Children of Sarajevo, was awarded a special distinction there in 2012. Bergic also teaches film directing and runs her own production company. Her latest project, A Ballad, will be set in post-war Bosnia. We met with Bergic in Sarajevo. Uh, I was, my film was part of Omnibus called Bridges of Sarajevo, which was uh, shown in Cannes, of his official selection. And after that I entered in some documentary material about uh, people who survived the uh, siege of Sarajevo. So now I'm in the process of post-production of that uh, documentary feature film. Also I'm developing one uh, cross-genre project, which is called Ballade. And uh, I hope this time it will be a love story. I'm trying to say, um, uh, to talk about love through female perspective in post-apocalyptic Bosnia and Herzegovina. Being a filmmaker in Bosnia, sometimes I feel that I'm doing some impossible things. You know, if you say, okay, I want to do a film and if you live in a place like Bosnia is, then it means like you say, okay, I will move the mountain from one place to another. I think that what is the quality of female directors is that we never give up. So I know some girls that started their projects like some years ago and many production companies uh, gave, up, uh, gave up from those projects, but they didn't give up. And one of the examples is Una Gunjak, one Bosnian director who just won a European Film Award for the short film. So especially for the girls, girls don't give up. I know that there are not many Muslim film, female filmmakers in the world and it's very complex thing. It's, uh, there are many different reasons for that. Uh, in some regimes, it's uh, oppression uh, that is made by regime towards women. In some places, women are too lazy or not too educated, or they are not used to uh, have their voice to, to, to tell their opinions. Uh, but in Bosnia, it's different. We are raised, we had like this um, long period of female emancipation. And uh, even being a Muslim woman wearing a headscarf, you don't feel like imprisoned. You feel free and obliged to uh, have opinion and to be very active uh, in, in the society, which I think is really good thing. It's not easy. I mean, being a female director, it's not easy. You have to be twice better than your male colleagues in order to be treated equally. Uh, being a Muslim filmmaker wearing a headscarf is even more complex. But I think, as I told before, uh, we shouldn't give up. During the 
siege, basically I've learned uh, how art is uh, important. I've learned then that when you don't have food, electricity, water and clothes, you still need art because it makes you feel human as a human being. It brings back your dignity. So even today when my projects doesn't seem to be realistic or maybe when I'm depressed thinking that it will not happen, I'm always thinking how art is important for human beings. And unfortunately, politics doesn't understand it because they always cut, if they will cut the budget, they will always cut first the culture and art, which is really wrong.